Athletes that compete at the collegiate level have one corresponding trait that supersedes sports. They are students first. The will to win is very prevalent in sports, but few are able to translate that will to win into the will to succeed in the game of life. Meet senior goalie for Columbus State University, Maylin Parsons. A scholar All-American and first-team conference and region player, Parsons has goals to make a difference far beyond those she accomplishes on the pitch. At CSU, my major is engineering studies, but my plan is after the end of this fall to transfer into Georgia Tech and finish my degree in biomedical engineering. I kind of want to connect what I've done my whole life in sports and in the classroom together. So my goal would be to figure out like alternative surgery methods. For instance, the ACL, you have to reconstruct it. It's a nine month recovery and it's something that faces a lot of women, especially in soccer. I would like to do research and find a way the ACL is already there to regenerate the ligament and just connect it instead of going in, doing the invasive reconstruction and waiting the six months. Pick the field, whether medically or athletically. Success has always been a part of Parsons' DNA. It's definitely personal. Like I, I want to do my best in anything that I can. Like I don't want to give anything like anything less than 100%. Um, that's something that my parents kind of showed me my whole life is whatever you do, do it and do your best. Coach Jay also encourages us to be good in the classroom. Like it's, we're student athletes and the student comes first for a reason. So I've kind of just used my time here um, to kind of prepare myself for those classes so that I'm more ahead and ready for whatever they throw me there. Since stepping on a campus almost four years ago, Parsons has seen constant playing time on the pitch. Her self-confidence plays a key role as she's developed into one of the best goalies at her level. I think that it was an expectation for myself, but I didn't know if it was going to be a reality. Uh, I think that I always wanted to do my best here and give my best for this team and this program, but it was kind of one of those things whether or not I was going to be good enough, I didn't know. Triumphs, both on and off the field, continue to roll into Parsons' hands. But pinpointing one in specific that tops all others? Easier said than done. The best moment that we've had was either our win against Barry last year, whenever we went to the Final Four, or our win against Bridgeport, because the win against Barry made history for Columbus State. Um, it was the first time any team had ever gone to the Final Four, part of program history, and not just we beat a team for the first time, but this was big. Like, we are going to do something that no other team has done and that only four teams every year get to experience. With high expectations on the field and in the classroom, there's a lot on the plate to finish. We tried to give Parsons an ultimatum with her goals to see how she'd react. Winning a national championship or getting accepted to further her degree? Winning a national championship. I'll figure myself out if I have to go to school somewhere else, but I'd rather win because I've watched my class put in work and I've watched the classes before me put over work for the amount of time that they've been here. There's probably, I don't know, 250 people that have played here except on this field at some point and it's about them. So I, I would much rather win a national championship. Than there isn't much that will trip up Parsons as she wills herself forward. The road she's taken up to this point hasn't been without sacrifice. But as all great leaders exemplify, she practices what she preaches. I think that if I was to look back at myself four years ago, or I guess three and a half years ago, I would say no matter when everything's get hard, just stay positive. Um, keep, keep up the hard work, keep working hard, it's going to pay off. And that's probably, that's probably everything, and I would tell that to any kid that walked on CSU campus, not just myself, that any freshman, any sophomore, any junior, whenever they stepped on this campus, to always stay positive and to always work hard because good things come your way whenever you're positive and working.